The existence of God has been fiercely debated for centuries, but regardless of what you think or feel is true, can we use math, the universal unbiased language, to come to a conclusion? Can math prove God's existence? The most famous argument in favor of a God-made world using logic and reasoning is the argument by design. Simply put, given how complex and amazing everything around us is, can we really believe that dumb luck put it together? Even from a scientist's perspective, life is amazing, incredible rare and took a monumental amount of steps, chance happenings, and time to come about. So a religious person may argue, doesn't it seem much more plausible that there was some driving force behind it all? This type of argument is called reductio ad absurdum, which simply means it attempts to disprove a statement by showing it inevitably leads to absurd or impractical conclusions. In this case, it suggests that 1. If there's no god, humans developing is very unlikely, 2. Humans did develop, therefore 3. It it is unlikely that there's no God. But let's take this logic one step further and imagine the universe before anything has been created. Here we have a Bayes box where we have our two possibilities of God existing and no God existing. On the other side, our possibilities are that humans exist or that humans don't exist. If no God is true, then most would agree that human existence takes a lot of specific factors to come about, so let's make up a tiny probability and say that there's a 1 in 4 billion billion chance of humanity coming into existence in a world with no God. And if God is real, even though we don't know that God would make humans, certainly he could, so let's give it a higher probability of 1 in 4 million. Of course, if we examine the evidence, we know we exist so we can get rid of the other row. And as many who have used the argument by design point out, a human-made world with God seems much, much more likely rationally and statistically. And while this is true in some ways, it forgets an important point that we have assumed there are only two major theories. But we know this isn't true. Many societies have believed in multiple gods, and given that there are some aspects of this life that aren't nearly as beautifully complex or seemingly intentional, perhaps a variety of squabbling gods created the world. Mathematician Jordan Ellenberg uses the probability of 1 in 400,000 that a universe with multiple gods would create humans, but it's important to remember that the exact numbers don't actually matter. What does matter is that we can agree rationally that a universe with more gods has a higher chance of creating humans than one with a single god or none at all. It's also important to remember that we're not comparing the probability of gods or no gods existing, we're asking ourselves, if the god option is true, what is the likelihood of him making humans? And then we're asking separately, if the multiple gods option is true, what is the likelihood that they would make humans? Now let's take this even further to theories of us simply living in a simulation like that of The Sims which individuals like Elon Musk and Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom believe. As technology advances, it's almost a certainty that future humans will make extremely realistic human simulations based on the world that we live in, to study these humans like we study mice. Scientists already use simulations to understand nature and human behavior, but in the future it's possible that the human test subjects will be conscious and think they're real. So we can give this scenario a fairly high probability. Again, the exact number doesn't matter, just that we can can agree it's very likely that advanced humans would create these kind of simulations compared to the probability of a god or gods randomly deciding to make humans when they don't need to or could make millions of other animals or other aspects of the universe. After all, humanity is obsessed with humans. So as you can see, while math can in fact show that the existence of life is evidence that god exists compared to no god, the same math shows more compelling evidence that we're a simulation by much smarter people. Special thanks to Audible for supporting this episode to give you a free 30-day trial at audible.com slash ASAP. This week, we wanted to recommend the book How Not to Be Wrong, The Power of Mathematical Thinking by Jordan Ellenberg, which was the main source for this episode and an incredible read on the hidden beauty and logic of our world through the lens of math, but in a way that's accessible to everyone. You can get a free 30-day trial at audible.com slash ASAP and choose from a massive selection. We love them as they're great when you're on the go and subscribe for more weekly science videos.